Welcome, assassins, to this week's episode of Assassins and Dragons. Joining me as our adventure... I'm sorry, wait. I am Magnus Beastikiss, <laughs> your dungeon master for the evening. Um, we're doing things a little bit differently this session. It's a flashback. Uh, as we do not have the illustrious, crazy Timarius with us for this session. Uh, he's in London doing London people stuff. But I am the Dungeon Master for the evening, and joining me on this flashback adventure, to my left, your right. Luna, playing Funky Beerbot, a level five female mountain dwarf druid. Just so you know, that is the only camera that has everybody in the shot. So oh, when it's a, uh, yeah. Not that there'll be too much camera eye locking, but. Maximus Dominus, a level stupid, <laughs> upset <laughs> to be a lower level than before. <laughs> stupid flashback level, Herchek Bane, level five, Barbarian, Goliath. Remember the Ever Living, playing Valoros Invictari, <laughs> level five, uh, Scourge Asimar, wizard of the School of Invention. Different than uh, than Varkir, as Varkir has not made it yet. Yes. So, where our adventurers find themselves now is but months before their departure from the city of Orinbel to seek out the mystery herb known as Nosha. Uh, they have built up a little bit of a name for themselves in the city right now, and they just got in a contract. Uh, from somebody known as Orexander Bishop. Orexander? Yeah, Orexander Bishop. And uh, the the contract's title merely says, For the Children. Oh, boy. Uh, and you guys pick this up, as you usually do, at the, the fancy main, your headquarters. And it says to meet in the, or, or by the Blade Maiden Falls in the Belladonna system. Hey, that's uh, first. We're She's getting so friendly cute. here. <laughs> um, so yes, the, the the Blade Maiden Falls is um, the the most famous fall in the Belladonna system. Uh, it's it it leads into this beautiful um, sort of medium sized uh, lake, uh, much larger sized pond, um, and yeah, the contract just says to meet him there at sort of noon uh, the next day that you got the contract. Okay. Do we have time to get some candy? Some it's candy? For the, it's for the children. It's for the children. Uh, yeah, if you want to stop by and, and pick up some <laughs> sweets. some sweets on the way there to, to uh, turn the tides in your favor should you come into an altercation with some children. I'm going to do that. But I will eat 25% of the candy. Okay, go ahead and, and roll an investigation check to see how successful you are finding this candy. I would like to assist in finding the candy. All right, roll it at advantage. I'm asking a guard. 20, not natural. 12. I found the candy. Uh, as, you're, as you're wasting time asking guard, <laughs> going from guard to guard, and they're just like, that well, I don't eat candy, mate. Well, I look like you. They should um, know who I am. Thunky just takes off. She beelines it for the candy store. I know um, exactly. Yeah, she knows exactly where stores. it's at. And you have to, uh, you finally caught up with her about 20 minutes later as she's checking out from the counter. <laughs> okay. You, Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you got your information from like a particularly hefty guard who is mm. literally just outside the candy store. I make a note to report him because <laughs> of his heftiness. Okay. <laughs> To, to, to report some, him, some to some great champion that we're gonna meet some soon. Uh, okay, so uh, you have your now bag of candy, and you're yes. making your way towards the Go Belladonna candy. system uh, to the Blade Maiden Falls. I'm just following in awe, like oh, I can't believe I'm with these people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna toss a piece of candy back at him. Uh, Varkir, would you mind reminding <laughs> us what what you, or not Valor Varkir, Valor um, Valros, what you look like? Uh, so I am a Scourge Asimar. I look a little different than you think. I have a uh, armor on that's actually like a magical armor, and that's my, I filter my spells through it. So I kind of look like this weird. I got like like heavy leather, some 
plate pads on here and there. They're not like heavy plates. They're just they just look it. They just look the part. And yeah, I'm a, I have a white mask over my face with I think there's one purple gem around its eye and one red gem. Yeah, one red gem around the other eye, and then uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, following in pace with you two, um, Val Ross. Uh, picks up the back, and you guys make it easily enough. You guys are, are familiar with Orin Bell. You've been here for uh, a few years. Um, passing through the, the the chirping birds and the uh, more than you would imagine wildlife uh, pervading the Belladonna system, uh, in passing by the sort of uh, the the river that acts as a river walk throughout this entire system and makes it to all of the major sort of scenic points. Even just following that river all the way down, you hear the rush of, of water uh, falling on top of itself as you know that you uh, made it to the Blade Maiden Falls at about little afternoon, just a little bit late. Um, and uh, you guys come to, uh, walking off of the path, you see this figure sleeping in the ground or in the grass on the outside perimeter of the of the uh, lake and just arms outspread um, you can see sort of yeah arms outspread I'll, I'll send you the picture of, of the person that you see sleeping in there <laughs> Are he's sleeping with his arms spread out yep he's just sleeping very very peacefully um, you see this figure in silver armor um, similar to what the Orin knights wear. Uh, no helmet over his head. He's got this short, sort of uh, rustled white hair. Uh, looks to be about in his mid-30s. Dang. Mid to late 30s. Um, no, I was just saying rustled white hair, mid to late 30s. Does he have, like, cat-like eyes? <laughs> or a wolf's pendant or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he's got a scar on his left eye. Um, his name is Gerald of Riviera. <laughs> if, you, if you look at the picture, you'll see that it's nothing yeah. like Geralt of Rivia. And I'm only it's fine. incredibly inspired still by Geralt. <laughs> but I'll try not to let that seep into this campaign. Funky will kidnap him. <laughs> Take him to a cave. Yeah, just sleeping super peacefully, and you can see that um, butterflies have, have perched on the end of his his uh, uh, handle for his sword that's that's currently laying on his side. Um, some birds are swirling above and uh, high up into the sky. Hmm. We're gonna throw a piece of candy at him. All right. Um, go yeah. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> just roll. Do a dexterity uh, throw. Twelve. Uh, twelve. Yeah, easily enough. It whoosh, lands on his chest arm in here. Tink, 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 tink. Um, and he sort of like does this slow wake up, opens his eyes, and just looks around him. And as soon as he makes eye contact with whoever the first one is who is closest by, he just pushes himself up and gets to attention. And he goes, oh, oh, are you, are you Orin's obliterate? That we are. I'm sorry you had to wake me up like this. How rude of me. Uh, I am Orixander Bishop. And how may I be of service? Well, actually, I'm sorry. I suppose that uh, I find myself fortunate enough to, 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 for you to be in my service, huh? Isn't that something? Yeah. Does, is, does his blade actually look like it does in the picture? Uh, you can't tell. It's, it's sheathed uh, right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Forgive my lack of etiquette. I'm, I'm sorry you had to wake me up. I, it's just this district, this system, it's... It's so peaceful and tranquil. My, my eyes lost a hard-fought battle. Say no more. Oh, Herchak, you're just as big as they say. <laughs> Your savage lessons, I hear from the guards, are almost taking or are, are almost being sold for tickets. It's, it's really? pretty incredible. When did this happen, Herchak? I know that in the future, it's pretty, pretty rad. Trust me. 
it's only a few months before like, you would have a, an equal, if not just a little bit less of a reputation than you have Way before. Way more. Have you, have you, have you, I beat Kumbara. Have you been training with ISO up there? <laughs> ISO Feldspa. Hmm. Valros, Karelin, he tells me some pretty good things about you. You've got a bright future ahead of you. Do I? Know? Keep at he it. He never tells me that it's himself, ever. Oh, he never would. <laughs> He's got his own ways. Bell All he tells me to do is be quiet and keep working. That's it. Every day, in and out. And you know that if you be quiet and you keep working your fingers to the bone, improvements will be made. I, I made several improvements on my own armor so far, so... I can see that. Fine craftsmanship. Thunky, <laughs> your brews. Have you ever thought about starting your own brewery? Yeah. It and runs in my family. And he, and he's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't I didn't mean to, uh, I, I I didn't mean to get carried away. Let let walk this way. I I didn't mean to fall asleep either. We're a little bit behind schedule. Um, for the children. What are we supposed to? And do? he 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 like locks eyes with you and he goes, Yes, <laughs> exactly right. Her check. I knew I picked a good squad. I mean, rumors of Orin's obliterate is are almost being whispered on the winds right now. Um, Who do you want us to, you know, talk are to? Are you getting us confused with someone else? There are, there are several Duke squads. Shorn may have died, but <laughs> some people th say that's a good thing. Orin Bell has been in more prosperous times since, hmm. however short of a time it's been. Everybody at that party seemed to think it was a better idea for him to be dead. <laughs> exactly. Death is not a good thing, but sometimes it brings us benefits we can't foresee. Uh, and you guys are still just walking, and now he's just, just like following the path along the the river, and you can see just like trout swimming alongside you guys, um, or like whatever the the fantasy equivalent of trout is. Uh, true. True. Trufin. Got wings. No, trufin is an trout. entirely different fish. It lives in the ocean. A druid would a druid would know that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's right. Maybe one day you can take me to them, Funky. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, that would be pleasant. Um, and yeah, you guys are continuing uh, uh, to walk, and he's just uh, reminiscing about deeds he's heard you guys uh, go through, sort of hitting on specific details for each person. Um, and yeah, he, he, he goes back to you, Thunky, and he says, if you started your own brewery, you would shake up the entire industry. There'd be a, a whole nother level of intoxication illumination, you know? Oh, I know. But why I'm working on you? a really special batch right now. I was going to take it into town after this. It's not ready yet. Could we drink it as a celebration after this? Yes, it'll be ready by then. Oh, thank God. that be able to tell so many people. Um, and about... 15, 20 minutes walk by, you guys are uh, uh, approaching the outskirts closer to the wall, and he says, so this contract, what I've asked you to do, it's, um, it pays very well, but I promise you it's for a good cause. I, I help out with an, an orphanage. It's called the Orin Finage. <laughs> Really oh, is that, I, yeah. I, I, like, I like uh, stare at him like, R really? I named it myself. Or at least they allowed me to name it after I helped out after a while. Um, I'm proud of the name. I think it suits. I think it. I think it's It's very fitting. Alexander, who? what was your father called? My father? Yeah. Belarius. Belarius? Are you sure it wasn't Ordinarius? Ordinarius? Yeah, Ordinarius. Ordinarius? Organarius. Organarius. What are you talking about? Organarius. Or Xander. Naming it Orin Finage. Uh No, I. I uh, w no. Belarius. Why do you ask? I'm just wondering if the name Orin ran in just your family. In the, in the name of the orphan, it just didn't make sense. Orin Finage? It fits Clever. perfectly it's in the common Clever. language. It, it, never mind. It's I was Clever. actually really it's, proud it of it. It sounds like you're saying orange finage. Orange finage. 
Like, I mean, there's there's finish. merit to that too. Like, what is orange finish? It's a type of flower. We can uh, discover that together. See, see, very knowledgeable this one. You, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, it, and so he he goes on to say, um, I could only find time previously to check in on the orange finish. <laughs> Every uh, about once every week, uh, check in on the uh, on the little kids. But unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to do that very soon, and I need someone to take my place. So These you want us to be daycare leaders? Just check in as I did uh, once a week. Um, I'd love to introduce you to the kids. Just make sure they're all right. Um, write a report about anything that's changed. I still want to keep in contact and, and get updated on their what, status. If you don't mind my asking, what is your knight status, Lord? Um, I'm not a knight. Oh. I'm a tutor, a, actually a swordplay tutor at the Islavellian soldiery. So you do practice sword, swords? And yet you never come to the pits. <laughs> Please understand, Herchek, that I, I can don't. see already that I have much to learn from you. It's uh, new forms of combat and the way that you utilize your your passion with all of your blade strikes. But these are just rumors I've heard. Um, I found it harder and harder to leave where I'm currently living. So uh, I just haven't been able to make it down. And he starts <coughs> just it's like a little are you sick? a little bit. Are you terminally ill? Uh, I've I've come down with something as of late, but I'm not. Is it quite sure what it is? Or an answer? Cancer. Or an unfortunately, um, the doctors that I visited, uh, very high esteem, thankfully, of uh, being a, a part of the the tutelary of of Islavellian soldiery. I uh, have have uh, access to those, and no, thank goodness, it's not or an or an or an answer. Cancer. Or in cancer. Is there an answer? Or in AIDS. <laughs> Guys, this is all just one really elaborate role play test to see how many times we can come up with Orin Bell puns. Uh, <laughs> it's and... going down the drain. <laughs> 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 uh, um, uh, but yeah, you, you guys can continue to walk. And he, he says, uh, this orphanage is uh, it's a little off the radar. Um, uh these kids, I, I care about them very much, and uh, it's it's just better, I feel, for them to be uh, outside of, of the, the prying eyes of those who might misuse them. Even inside the walls of misuse Orin Bell. Them. What do you mean by that? They're all... Are they deformed? No, like when you say misuse, what do you mean? They're powerful kids. Everybody has different words. They all have such vast potential left in such desperate circumstances. It made them stronger than most. Um, but like, that's not the only Explain reason. some some of them to me. Like, describe some, some things they've done. They can't, I guess. I, I'd like you to just meet them personally and see for yourself. Were they bitten by radioactive spiders? Uh, one might have been. Um, but I heard they had I don't an outbreak. So. What's his name? <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, you guys are uh, going through, it, it starts to get more wooded uh, with sort of like dense bushes and trees closer towards the outskirts of uh, the city, closer to the, the inside perimeter of the wall. You start to come to a, a little bit of a clearing. You start to, to pass some bushes and trees and you see this little uh, abbey with what looks to be like an extension built on it. It looks kind of run down. It almost looks forgotten about. Um, and Thunky, you hear a uh, uh, rustling in the bush right in front of you. And like a you hear like some 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 air come out of uh, nostrils a little bit vigorously. I'm gonna point at the bush. Show yourself. 
Uh, and when, as soon as you see Punky, 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 <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> Next this character. This is my punk phase. Um, as soon as you see punk. Thunky push uh, a point at the bush, this uh, Asimar little girl pops out, and she goes, ah, "You found me. I'm just. I'm sorry. I was gonna sneak up on you." Um, and Varkir, I would like you to roll a perception check. Or, or uh, uh, Valros. Sorry. It's going to happen a lot. I know that. Can I say something to her? Can you say something to her? 21. Yeah. 21, not natural. Um, yeah, as soon as your attention is sort of uh, brought to her and you open your mouth to speak, you hear <laughs> come from the tree behind you. Uh, Valros, and you just look at this child who is swinging on a rope, and they were trying to catch you off guard, but now it's just like in the <laughs> middle of the air, their eyes are just really wide as you're facing directly at them right okay. in their, their their path of descent. And they're just like, oh, no! As they're flying down towards you, what are you doing? <laughs> Punch uh, Could I, like, <laughs> grab him? Like, uh, him down, like, to, to the side? Or? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, okay, roll a, a dexterity check or a strength check, whichever one you want to use to, to grab him. Well, I guess I'll just use strength. <laughs> 19. Oh, yeah, 19. Uh, 19. You, he, he just swings right into your arms as you catch him, <laughs> and you just, whoop, poof, uh, sit him down on the ground, and it's a, a little human boy. And he goes, God, I was going to get it this time. Or Xander... This makes zero to twenty-seven, and he it, just runs away. Gonna, gonna, what is he talking about, or Xander? Uh, these kids. Uh, we have this little game that we play. Um, it, I'm trying to help them get stronger, you see, and uh, really, they have to take something from me, or hit me, or it's literally just a game to see who can. So what were they going to take from you, from us? <laughs> It, it it extends to all those that I bring here, which, to be perfectly honest, you're the first three. You didn't think to warn us about that? I wanted to see what they would do. Oh. And it looks like you guys have proven that you can take on some kids. <laughs> some very Maybe. talented kids. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, a kid who mm. literally made a, a noise before coming at me so I could turn around in time to see him. <laughs> her, her check. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll a perception check yourself. <laughs> 14. And that 14 total? Yeah. Uh, okay. You just see a kid run run past you from from one of the bushes, and the kid says, "They got us! They got us!" And they're all running towards the abbey. Uh, three of them: uh, Asimar, female, uh, human, male, and the the other one was a halfling, or not a halfling, a a half elf, uh, male as well. Children all in between the ages of like five and nine years old. Yeah. Carefully behind them. <laughs> <laughs> and it could be, honestly, with this Nazi Jeremy thing we have going on. Um, Can I say, wait, are we close enough to them? Yeah. Can I say, not today, children? And then I'm going to reach in my pocket and throw candy in the air. <laughs> like towards them. <laughs> uh, one kid on another rope swing sw <laughs> swings out of the bush and just like reaches mid air and swipes one and then lands down on the ground and starts running towards the the uh, uh, a female actually a female tiefling starts running towards the abbey. <laughs> wow, I'm extremely impressed. Go go uh, I'm go slightly worried. Go ahead and roll a uh, I guess charisma, just a straight charisma check. Oh boy. A two. <laughs> <laughs> a two. Um, 
Uh, no, nobody turns around. That, that, first, uh, <laughs> that, that kid just took their chance, grabbed it, and, and ran. Typical. There's a bunch of candy on the ground. This and is like my real life. Is it all of, <laughs> did you throw all the children. candy? No, just like some in my pocket. Yeah. Just some. Also, they were like running away um, as, as four <laughs> kids are now crossing Aww. the field towards the abbey. And Orixander goes, ah, thrum, hum, pepper, and Stalis. Pepper and Stalin? Stalis. Stalis. <laughs> Stalis. Um, so there's the rum. And, and he goes, I, 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 I wonder where Bartholomew is. Hum. Pepper. And pepper. And, and he, he points to um, the the uh, Osimar, who you pointed out of the bush, and he points to her being Pepper. Stalis is the girl, uh, tiefling girl, actually, uh, red skin, dinky, dinky, tiny little horns and a, and a small Aww. little tail with a bow at the end. That's um, adorable. Uh, is Stalis and the half-elf uh, boy and the human boy are Thrum and Hum. Wait, which one's who? Uh, human is Thrum, half-elf is Hum. And uh, Hum, Hum, the, the half-elf boy, uh, actually uh, turns around, and he goes right up to you, Thunky, and he goes, oh, man, how'd you get so hairy? You're a girl, aren't you? <laughs> it runs in my family. Does that mean that I can get a, a big old bushy beard at one point? No. I'm going to go up to, is the girl? No, it's a little boy. I'm going to go up to him. You could get a great big bushy beard, just like You don't have me. one. I know. <laughs> Way to rub it in, DM. She's so small. She's like us. But you're so big, and you don't even have facial hair. I lit this You yeah. call yourself no. a man. No, no. I'm going to take. Uh, as, as you go out to grab him, a hand grabs your, for, your, your wrist, and it's Orixander. And he look and he he looks at you. He he's still got a smile on his face, and he goes, "Now, now, now, Herchek. He's not your enemy here. Hopefully, nobody will be. I can see that you two will become fast friends soon enough. <laughs> really? You, you, he's he's got a lot to learn about strength. And maybe you can teach him that. He's super yeah, strong. Yeah, I lift him up. Hair lit. Do you lift him up? Yeah, I'm gonna teach him about he's strength. He's super strong. He's gonna he's gonna break your arm. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Orgus Anders, uh, like, you're going to teach him my strength. I'm going to teach him my strength right now. By lifting him up onto my shoulder. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, uh, Orgus Xander uh, looks into your eyes and sees you continue to do the motion, and he just steps back and watches. Okay. Kid goes on your, your shoulder. And then I pile drive him around the ground. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? And then you sit on him, and then you fart. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wait. Can I pour some some brew into a small glass? Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Stalis, the tiefling girl, runs up to you, and she goes, "Juice, juice, 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 juice!" <laughs> no, 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 Stalis. Shh. And I'm gonna hand it to the little boy on hair check's shoulders. What? I'm gonna say, "This will put some hair on your chest." <laughs> All right. <laughs> as as the, the, the boy excitedly takes it around uh, the, the, the top with both hands and just... <laughs> and let's see how well this goes. Oh, wow. Uh, really he, well. he how, how, like much did you, how much did just you fill it? Bit. Yeah, he goes... Oh, oh. <sighs> ah! Well? Well? Huh? Huh? I can already see it. It's starting. Yes! And he just slaps the, the top of your head a few times excitedly. <laughs> Not like aggressively. <laughs> just like, ah. That's how all her chicks And uh, uh, Stalis goes up to you and, and asks if she can have some juice. And the uh, human kid, I'm sorry, the, the female Osimar runs up to you and she goes, Wow, I bet you could lift the whole Gragnars. Huh? Couldn't you? I could. <sighs> I believe the Ragnar's almost crushed you. Well, not yet. <laughs> um, and yeah, th they're just sort of like parading around you as Wait, you're walking up towards the abbey. Hmm? Did that happen? What? Ragnar, Ragnar, shattered, Ragnar, shattered, shattered Peaks? peaks? Uh, the sh Shattered Peaks Because if it is, did. I'm going to have a... It did? It did happen. I'm going to have a completely different reaction. As soon as she mentions lifting the mountains, I flash back to seeing the hand coming towards me, and I lose <laughs> all like emotion, and I so... <laughs> 
Um, and Alexander uh, looks at the little girl and she goes, or he goes, some mountains just shouldn't be lifted. Her check was meant for greater things. They do lift. Massively. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so big! <laughs> ah! And I, I put the kid down. I'm going <laughs> to go walk away for a second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some wow. time alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back! Her check brought new games. It's called Hide and Seek. Man, this guy is <laughs> such an optimist. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> he literally had butterflies around him when he was sleeping. That was obvious. He's loved by mana. <laughs> He's loved by mana. <laughs> um, okay, so so uh, uh, you just turn around as these kids are, are walking up. And uh, this, ki- this kid that you haven't seen before, um, a half-elf boy, dark hair, wearing a little bit more darker colors than the rest, walks up to you. Val Ross, and he goes, Wow, you've got a lot of gadgets. <laughs> and your armor looks really cool. Damn, you, I'm a wizard you know of invention. I that? Would you like to know more? Of course, yeah. Can you teach me now? Hmm, are you a citizen or a civilian? A civilian? <laughs> what? I got it right. What? Well, as then. soon as you said, do you, would you like to know more? How about? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Is that a military thing? That's <laughs> uh, for a Starship Trooper. Uh, Starship Trooper. Like oh, more? would you like to know more? Changes changes. I'm inducting him into my elite wizardness. I kind of wish you were a Varkir to see your interaction. <laughs> oh, spines, fresh ones. Come on. <laughs> do, you have, what, 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 what is, what, what, do you have a flair for magic, young man? Magic? I wish. I'm not too sure. Sometimes I can make things stay real still. Like how? Like they just don't move, but it kind of scares me sometimes. Like you can make them stop moving? Like would you, If you could make the, the, the big man over there stop moving, could you make him stop moving? Like just hold him in place? And he looks he, he looks past you to, to her check just like with his hands, his fingers on his, <laughs> his the top of his head just like looking down and... Just like taking big breaths, and he's like, "Oh, I, I, I wouldn't want to stop that guy." No. No, yeah, you definitely wouldn't. No, but what's wh- your name? Uh, what if, 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 if he was like running at you? Could you, could you have stopped something that size? Do I hear this? Oh golly, I don't, I doubt it. Mm. Could you stop something? Could, could you stop this. something thunky okay. size? I think, I think that'd be easy. I don't quite have 18. a grasp on it now. Mm. Uh, yeah, you, you, you heard like. Did I hear that guy specifically Rummy? So what yeah. about, what I about turn around. You mean Val Ross. Val Ross. I <laughs> turn around, I stare at the kid, <laughs> and just... I don't want to rage, but I want to make it look like I'm going to rage, and I'm going to sprint at this kid, and uh, I'm just going to jump over him. If it, if he doesn't. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll, r- run at him. Just yeah, you're yeah, you're you're sprinting, and uh... I'm just going to yell, "Hold me!" <laughs> Ah, no. It's a big uh, test. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As you lock eyes from about 70 feet away, you start running towards this kid. Dirt Rule. <laughs> exploding Axe coming out, out. behind you. <laughs> and and uh, the, the one of the kids actually starts breaking down. The 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 Osimar girl just starts like, oh my god, who did you bring to us? <laughs> Um, <laughs> and uh, the kid rolled a one, so I naturally. I still want to let it happen, even if it's a one. Like, I, even if he's like trying, I want, I want him to have that confidence. Uh, even if it's just like, ah, just gonna stop yourself. Give like, him advantage. Ah! Give him advantage. So as yeah, as you're ten feet, nine feet, five feet, three feet, just he's gonna, just. <sighs> He's recoiling out of pure fear, and he gets into the fetal position as you <laughs> jump over him, and he screams at the top of his lungs. Uh, and I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Twelve. Everything goes black for you. You are it. You see your sight. It's almost like you are dragged into your skull into the back recesses of your mind and you you join this like swirling pool of blackness that where you can't reach out and grasp anything there's 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 no part of your mind that can materialize any concept before you and everybody else around him sees 
Herchek as this light red veiny form of what he used to be. Still his same form, but he's just like, he's paralyzed in a state of shock and uh, blood is dripping from his oh his, his fingers. And uh, Orexander, quickly, you hear his voice in your mind and he goes, it'll be okay. You are released. And just like that, you swirl through all of the darkness before you slam into your own face once again and land on the ground, on the grassy ground and slide to a halt. And he, he just picks up uh, the kid, um, Bartholomew, and he, he, he walks inside and he says, we, we can continue this inside. Please don't try anything like that again. I knew wow. you weren't going to do anything and I wanted to see for myself what would happen, but he's not ready yet. And uh, he he walks inside of, of the abbey, and at that you see this this older guy open up the the abbey door. This this older sort of like uh, hunched over like late nineties human, and he goes, <gasps> "Children, where are you? <laughs> oh, Alexander, I welcome. Come on in, supper's ready." <laughs> and one of the kids goes. It's lunchtime. <laughs> well, <laughs> supper's ready. <laughs> and he just like turns around and hobbles in How and Alexander goes. Most <laughs> <laughs> hmm. ah, all these powerful doesn't even children. Know when lunch is. Uh, lunch is ready. One second. What was Ah uh, yes. So uh, he goes, uh, or or Alexander was still holding the kid, walking through the door. Uh, are you guys following him inside? Or Alexander's sort of giving this like, we can we can talk more about this, um, inside of the abbey. Uh, I'd like to. I'd, I'd also like to to let him um, settle down, and he just sort of walks away and puts him in one of the, the connected, uh, sort of little rooms. Like that. What is that young man's name? His name is Bartholomew Cobble. Bar- Bar- Bartholomew Cobble. Is there, how many Bartholomews are there here? No, it's just that kid was Bartholomew. Oh, okay, he was Bartholomew okay. the whole time. It was like three Bartholomews. You know. <laughs> <laughs> just the one that froze her check. Mm. Um, Allegedly. Uh, yeah, and, and and the kids start to go, ah, oh, Bartholomew did it again. It was, it was worse this time, though. <laughs> um, that big scary guy, what's he doing here? What are, what are all three of them doing here? That was a simple test, kids. A simple test. Yeah. Do, do you know what you're capable of, eh? <laughs> I'm just I mean, gonna pass out candy. We're just like everybody else, and you're yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, grabbing the candy as it's as it's easy prey for them. Um, I grab a piece. Yeah, you, you share it with the kids as as they're just like looking up at you, and like, I don't like that flavor anyway. What is it? What is it? Banana. <laughs> That's fine. Only some people like. What banana. type of banana is there? It's really it's banana toffee. It banongles. Banongles. Yeah. Oh, it's like a banana, banana but it's up split up. into two at the is end. Is it born naffy? Born naffy. Born naffy. I don't get it. I know it has orin in it, but I don't get the naffy part. Like taffy. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and the, the wow, Gannon, you are looking crazy. Um, but yeah, so the, the kids take the, the candy and they sort of excitedly start to, to play um, around the the long sort of uh, benches and chairs uh, that comprise the bulk of the the abbey's furniture. And um, Orexander uh, just starts talking to you guys, and he just goes like, "Well, this is." Uh, this is them, all five of the charming little little tykes. God, you're um, her check. I'm I'm sorry you had to experience that, but come on, let's let's just agree you brought that on yourself. Um, How you train and I train are completely different, clearly. And I'm sure you will bring that value to these children. Oh, I know. Just maybe more tenderly at first. Like they, how I want my meat? Tender? No, no, not at all. You gotta nope, beat not it up. Unli- no. <laughs> Tenderize it. Um, I, too, enjoy very tender meat, but let's just keep meat and children on a separate category entirely. Do you, do you like meat? A <laughs> lot of meat? 
children. Kind of me. <laughs> yeah, lads. You like that? I like yeah. my children like my meat. <laughs> Tender. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, and... Um, <laughs> We're like the worst people to give a child contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he, I he, he may or may not find this out uh, eventually. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's talking over you, and he's, he's pointing at them and, and saying their names and sort of, um, like, a, a little bit about what he knows of their background. They're still um, orphans that uh, he either came across or uh, Priest Roberts came across. And um, the dread pirate Roberts, the dread priest Roberts. <laughs> Hear me, citizens. Repent, or I will kill you all. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Hold off until Thunky comes back. You know me. Nah. Stay the fuck away from me! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> 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 it's like ah. she lifted up her whole back body. Don't touch me. Yeah, she doesn't it's not like touching it. ours. Sometimes she doesn't like her stomach being touched, and it's funny. She'll just go to extreme lengths to keep from touching it. She's like, no, 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 no. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. It's like, hey, what the? F I was going out there. She's like, I'm feeling vulnerable. Vulnerable, 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 no, vulnerable. No. Fall off the table. <laughs> no, I'm just sitting there. So yeah, as uh. <laughs> He he uh, he goes over the children um, and uh, like Stalis. She likes really spicy foods um, and she just goes over there like what they what they like, what they don't like, what you should stay away from. And uh, he goes, yeah, I uh, he, he turns you guys inward and he says, um, this might appear as a boring job, a boring role for Orin's Obliter, but I promise you uh, the fulfillment you'll get when you see them grow up, go to school, fall in love. Join Orin's Obliterate. Should they be so lucky <laughs> um, will be reward in and of its, and, and uh, his voice sort of slows down to you, Thunky, and you alone. And uh, you see his eyes slowly look at you. And in your vision, you see uh, inside of the abbey, but behind you, the kids uh, playing around a pillar. And one is just going, ha, 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 ha. And uh, the human boy is just like, no, -uh, I'm going to run and get you. And he just sprints. And she ducks out of the way, and he lands into the pillar, knocking it over. And the entire, uh, like, five to seven foot radius around the pillar of stones falls on them. And you hear, like, a... <laughs> and then uh, you... Uh, it His voice starts speeding back up again, and he just continues into his conversation of, like... Seeing them go to college, uh, if they join Orin's Obliterate, it would be, and you hear, I'm going to get you. No! And <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you have one, one free action uh, before what you think may happen may happen. Oh, all right. Oh, man, where is it? How far away is this kid? Um, the kid's maybe about 10 feet behind you. Uh, and there, the the tiefling girl Stalis is is uh, uh, pestering him in front of the in front of the pillar, and uh, the little stout uh, human boy, blonde hair, just starts to no. Nah, I'm just, just gonna I'm gonna jump and just lunge at him. And okay, roll a dexterity uh, saving throw. Uh, 11. Um, I, I, so you turn around just after you hear that, after locking eyes with, uh, Orexander, and you see the kid just tsh, tsh, t foot after foot running towards this tiefling girl as she's slowly jumping out of the way. You jump, uh, in front of him and just sort of like slide on your belly and he 
trips overneath your or, or <laughs> on top of your side and just <laughs> and his shoulder <laughs> uh, his entire body slides and his his left shoulder knocks into the pillar and you you see <laughs> some of the the dust fall down and you hear a shift in stone <laughs> <laughs> and everything is, for the most part, stable. But um, it, it may or may not last that long. Uh, and you hear Al, Al, uh, or, or Xander go, oh, Well done, Thunky! That was a close one. We better take care of this pillar right away. And he just walks over and he just, like, uh, holds his hand out. A very simple sort of, like, mending type spell. And he goes, This'll do for now. It's the most I can do, but we definitely need to get this checked out. Does this happen often? Does what happen often? I mean, I saw a vision, and then it was happening. And if I didn't jump in the way, I mean, they, I mean, four of them could have died. He, and he, he, like, he puts both of his hands on your shoulders, and he goes, Thank God you were here then. It looks safe for now, but uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, he goes, Children, play outside for now. Uh, we need to make sure that this place is safe, and we've got a few more things to discuss. Where is this place exactly? Like, is it in a far-off part of town? Woods? It's exactly? it's in... So, okay, so... This is Orinbell. Uh, for your perspective, this is Orinbell. Cut into four sections. Residential, market, uh, science and... And, um, uh, and religion, ironically. And then sort of like entertainment... Um, park beautiful area this is where you are on the outside perimeter of the wall i'm sorry inside of the wall but on the very outskirts of the city the abbey is is right there like pretty much up against the wall oh, okay yeah it's like a, a little bit out um out of outside of the, away from the so wall, like yeah. nobody if nobody would come out here unless they have business out here yeah for the most part all right uh I guess I will go and watch the kids outside for a little bit then, just, just in case. I will follow him. Uh, okay. Um, uh, you two open the door, walk out, uh, or Xander um, it's just says that he's going to ins inspect the, um, just clean up anything. Uh, like that, so it doesn't, so it's not as likely to happen again. Um, Alexander, I'm gonna go outside and play with the kids. <laughs> with the okay, I just, I just want to ask, uh, probably the the teeth thinker, like, what, 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 what can you do? <laughs> can I? Do, I can. Can't you make fire? And she goes. <laughs> Wow. And just okay, like her that's, eyes that's beam hot. up, her hands. Very, very there's, hot. Yeah, the, very you, hot. <laughs> it's a very hot uh, temperature emanating from this little girl. Uh, you can turn, turn it down. Yeah, please. Yep, yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. And like as, my, as she's doing that, She starts to like, laugh like a little bit. <laughs> Are you oh still trying God. to calm her down? <laughs> <laughs> as it's just getting more and more and more, and that the grass around her is being singed away as this field of of radiating so heat is emanating like out of her. Ray, ray of frost around her. Around, like, around, like to cool the area around her down. Okay, yeah, like sure. Steam. Go ahead and roll an Arcana check, just straight Arcana check. Do I see this through like a window? Yeah, Oops. you can. Can I, I don't yell do out the window? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Knock it off! Stop that! That's eight. Uh, do it with advantage. We'll say that, that might have distracted okay. her. Nope, that's lower. Whoa! Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. You, uh, it's, it's, you almost push your hands against this field, and they start to, to feel the heat and singe as it's... And as you shoot this ray of frost out, it's just turning into steam. Um, as your hands start to push closer and closer as you think you're you're succeeding and and containing this wall of heat and it just stops and your arms go around her and she was just like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, oh. It's terrifying. Well then. Good 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 job. Good job. Go go play over there. <laughs> just like 
hey, stomps send, on your foot and send, runs away. Send, send another one over. Send somebody else over, please. Um, <laughs> at, at this, you hear <laughs> a big fart noise. I'm just kidding. Um, an, an explosion <laughs> come from the back part of the abbey, and <laughs> stones sort of uh, are flying out in the direction of the wall as the the rooms of the abbey, one of them has, uh, it seems like, take, taken a hit. Um, and you, uh, some of the rocks or some of the stones fall down from the ceiling. Um, and like one of the chandeliers falls on the ground. How is this house a house? And Orexander or, or, or goes, I don't think that was the kids. And he rushes uh, towards the room that he puts Bartholomew in. And um, yeah, you just hear it open. And he goes, We have to go now. He's missing. Bartholomew? Yeah, Bartholomew is missing. Do we hear this? Yeah. Mm. Say that you heard Can it. I, like, do an investigation check around the Want entire to... room to see what did this? Yes, go ahead and roll an investigation check. I would like to yell can his I... name as, as loud as I can. Can I round up all the other kids? Like, kids, come here. Come here come go ahead and roll a performance here. check. I got a 12. Damn. A 12. Do I roll anything to gather the kids up? Kind of wish that wasn't happening. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll an animal handling check. <laughs> All right, you animals, come here. Eight. Um. Eight. Wow. Most of them just of just run, uh, uh, towards the destruction and right past you. Okay, go, go, um, go that way. Yes, go, go that way. <laughs> Doing great. The, 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 the tiefling girl grabs your hand and starts running with you. Like, come on, come on. Your hand's still pretty hot. <laughs> um, and uh, you rolled a 12? Yeah. It looks like uh, just the back wall as you enter was destroyed. Um, and, and it looks like some secondary reinforcement of the room and the structure of the abbey as a whole took a little bit of damage, but for the most part, it's all contained on the back wall from what you see. Like this this almost like nice hole was blown out of, or Future. was blown out. And almost everything in the room seems to be tidy as well. Hmm. As uh, Orexander is just like looking under the bed um, and he's, he goes, no, he's, he's not here. This happened, this just happened. We need to act quickly. I'm gonna run out of that giant hole. Okay. Uh, in the forest. Okay, uh, you actually, yeah, you don't see much of anything uh, right off right off the bat in the face of things. And then some of the, the kids start to pile around the hole like, wow, who did, did Bartholomew do this? I didn't know he had this ability. So did I see, would I be familiar with Bartholomew's like, where and like what he's what he's what he's wearing what he has on and things like that uh you yeah he i mean he paid extra special attention to you um so can i cast spell locate object <laughs> he, on his clothes i get yeah pretty much like on, on on him like any like part like i wouldn't i like i don't know he's not an object but yeah <laughs> i'm familiar with him i guess um, yeah, he was he was wearing this like particularly intricate uh, bracelet with a very fancy sort of like gold um, symbol woven into the the um, the strings, and we'll say that that's what you what you remembered in your encounter with him, at least physically off the off the face of it anyway. Yeah, so I'd like to cast the, that to locate him to see if I can find him. It says. So it's up to a thousand feet, and if, I, if the object's moving, I just know which direction it's moving in. Yeah. Okay. You. Um. What. What is. What does this spell look like for Valros? Like. Uh, well, for me, it's just like. Uh, I like press a few buttons on my suit, and a little ball pops out. It floats around. Just... Oh, so it's all techno explained. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. You guys see this this wave of like uh, luminescent color wash over uh, the the radius. And just disappear as it as it meets the end of of the the sphere in which it's searching, and then it pulses out again. Um, and as it pulses out, you see sort of like almost like <laughs> g ghostly outlines of of the the trail of the bracelet, and you can see it it moving almost straight to the back wall. 
it's through the the little patch of field in between the abbey and the the giant multiple hundreds of feet high uh, wall protecting Orbel, and it just goes straight to the wall. Do I see it, it go all the way to the wall? You see it go and then dip down. Hmm. Shall we? Shall we go? Yeah. Yeah. We, we gotta. We find should probably this get kid. Bartholomew. He seems like the strongest one. It's pretty scary. <laughs> Bartholomew took, or he was taken. He was the one taken. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought you said we should bring him. So organ, <laughs> or, 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 or organ organizer, or, organ organ. What you, what's what's your name again? I want I want Oregander. Or it's, I know people have a lot of time or a hard time with Oregander. I'm I'm sorry, Valros. Sounds but like organizer, but or, Oregander. Yes. I wish I was good at organizing things, but we don't have time for this. We're going and he just the he, yeah he he <laughs> he runs uh, past I, following your. Do other people see the trace? Uh, I mean, I guess they can if they. I mean, not really. I mean, it's just like a thing on my wrist that would be like, like I can, even, I can even see so, you my, see like, him thing. run along almost the exact like, same trail. I can set the ball to chase and have it go that way, but I don't know yeah. what else to do. Yeah. Uh, okay, go. so you guys are running. Yep. Yeah. We're following the trail. Run. Doing anything in particular, or just following as quickly as you can? Uh, yelling his name who's, as I'm running. Who's with the kids? Okay. Uh, what would you get on your performance oh, check man. again? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you, uh, you hear no response as you all are, are, are running, uh, to the exit and you just hear... Are the kids with us? You just hear, uh, uh, Priest Robert just go, No, no, come back here. We still got supper to eat. Come on, kids. Right this way. We'll, I'll patch that up later. And they're like, oh, come on, really? And you hear, no, get in here now. <laughs> and um, yeah, they all just like, okay. They all just like snap to and just like almost form a line right into the uh, into the broken wall now wow. of the abbey. <laughs> the safe home. It's like our home. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> just falls behind us. Um, okay, so you guys get to the, the outside perimeter of the wall has this like small moat in between the wall and the the grassy patch. Uh, It's not a moat built for defense or or defensive purposes or keeping anybody out or anything. It's more so just for, honestly, uh, to pretty up, to beautify uh, the Belladonna system. And you can see that the stream is just pouring into an open crevice that's maybe about like six feet in diameter in every different sort of broken direction. And you you can only see darkness uh, below as it just it seems like it dis- descends water pouring down some foliage growing in, um, and it just it uh, just turns into pure darkness after about I mean whoever has sixty feet of dark vision range. Like hmm, this I want to point out this this moat is entirely useless. These people are strange, but uh, at the same time, is this where the heads are? <laughs> Or is that the different place? <laughs> it is the different campaign. Okay. <laughs> um, but who knows if they're a threat here? Well, well very well then. Um, the Underdark is not my, my favorite place, but I'll, I'll go if you go. <laughs> Neither mine. Donkey. I don't want to go, but you know, I mean, looks like the most familiar to. with caves. I'm not familiar with caves. So you're the most familiar. Oh, okay. I didn't get to the specifics, but in the contract, it was a thousand per week. So, like every week, you just get like an automatic thousand, so long as you checked in with these kids. <sighs> a, thousand re, 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 re. a thousand gold. Re, re, looking at this contract, I, I think we should go in in here now. That's, yeah. Um, <laughs> we have to. But they did say supper was ready. Just saying. <laughs> Yes. Imagine, <laughs> how much, imagine how much blood that walking, gold could get yeah, you. I'll be the first one or, heading into the cave. <laughs> Water. Uh, we have to be back before it gets cold then. <laughs> I get to see how Orin's Obliterate works. You're well, can, can you see, can you I, see it's, the, I, this? I, I instantly stop an, an inspirational turn day. Turn around. I walk straight a beeline to him. So I do that and I do a whoop whoop. And I grab him by the shoulders and I go. He says, tell me what to do, Archek. Don't. Get in my way. <laughs> and I turn around and go back in. <laughs> Just what I would expect from old Herch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in my way. <laughs> <laughs> um, younger Herchek. Okay, so it's it's um. It looks like some of this 
existed before, just as like natural smaller tunnels, but was just blown out and, and carved out through various different methods. Uh, as you guys hop down, uh, I will make a, I guess this, no, survival wouldn't quite be appropriate. Athletics. Dexterity. Because it's it's um, water pouring over uh, both smooth and jagged rocks, um, slippery surfaces. It's kind of like climbing, right? Can I? Yeah, for the most part. I should have. Should climbing I... is athletics, but uh... I mean, use either athletics or or um, uh, 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 acrobatics. <laughs> Twenty-two. Eight. 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 That's an eight. Nine. Uh, <laughs> uh, as, Slip. <laughs> yeah, and you sm you smell like the a little bit of beer now as <laughs> Thunky's barrel on the back of her back just has like this 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 small little spurt coming out of oh, it no. after falling what? down. And that you was hear, unbreakable. Yeah, you hear the the jumbled clattering of Varkir as about every other <laughs> footstep he <laughs> slips and <laughs> slips and. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, uh, Orixander is, is walking down, but at like a, a distance around you. It's like not getting in her check's way, not getting in her check's way. Yeah, and he's, he's like, he's you like helping you up along the way. Don't, don't, uh, don't, mind, me, don't, don't like, mind me. This is, I'm just like I, heroic I, I leaping do down. Just, do ah, do ah, do ah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, just water. <laughs> Just mountains, this, um, these, these shooting in every direction from her checks uh, feet landing in the, in the ground, <laughs> and yeah, and and, and uh, Val Ross and Thunky have both sort of found each other and like helping each other down the way at this point. Help Unless me. you can refuse to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <We're both> just <laughs> yeah. Like it's it's okay. You weren't quite equipped for this. This wasn't what the mission was, and for that I You're apologize. <laughs> Mm. Um, no, he's he's not helping you anymore. He's just like behind you, talking to you now with like his hands behind his back. Okay. Um, <laughs> Whenever I reach the bottom or a flat spot, I'm going to try to use the acoustics in the cave and scream his name again. Okay, go ahead and roll a performance check. Do I get advantage because it's in a cave? No. It doesn't make any it's like, sense. It's, no, it's like how much you can do with the cave, if that makes sense. It's not like <gasps> you get advantage because it's a cave. I mean, the cave automatically accentuates it. It's like... Bug got caught in my mouth. Bug! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I eat, <laughs> I eat it. I'm hungry. Um, and, uh, yeah, af after... Um, it, You were traveling for not, not too long, to be perfectly honest, for maybe about five to seven minutes down here uh, every, every few far. steps and you see uh, you start to hear the rush of water where it was just a trickle before from the uh, from the moat leading in. Now you start to hear almost like it's meeting this rushing river and it uh, the terrain starts to level out a little bit and come to a, a smaller cave. I will wait for them there. And they meet up with you about uh, like two, two, three oh, minutes so later. Is it, is it, is it, you know exactly when it happens because of all the clattering and. <laughs> yeah. you, just, you guys just see me just sitting there. I'm leaning against the wall and just go, man. Guess you work on that. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Orixander. I'm gonna be like, take a swig, Orixander. Like point my barrel at him with like that little hole with like beer coming out. He goes, on the job? Yeah. It's, it's going to waste right now. Let's obliterate. And he just puts his mouth to it. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. and you just hear like, <laughs> where do I stop? And you just... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and after... Ain't, ain't dead yet. After about like four, four gulps, it just starts spilling. And he just like puts his hand over it. And he goes, ah... I think that's about as much as I can take right now. Like How much is in like, there? A lot. Like it's a imagine a, a cast. Oh yeah, this is a few months ago when you actually had you a lot. Like a little yeah. foldable cup and fill it up and then <laughs> sip it's it. like okay, water boy constitution style. Yeah. saving throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a swig as well with the cup of mine. I will take the rest of the barrel. Seventeen no. for constitution saving throw. I will rip the barrel away. And he, as as after you all finish taking your swig, uh, he he looks at you, Thunk, and he goes, "May I?" 
Absolutely. Just waves his hand, and the the wood uh, tendrils sort of sew back together and form solid wood. Um, pat him on hmm. the back. That's a different kind Very of mennonite than I have. That's, that's that's interesting right there. Trade me notes one day. <laughs> I would be, it would be my honor, Valros. Good, 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 good. No. You teach me how to build a gun. I'm Don't still working towards that end. Don't do that. So, um, not quite there yet. <laughs> and and as you guys enter this this smaller uh, tunnel, you start to hear banter, uh, like uh, some some shouting coming from probably like twenty five meters away. Can I take this time then to uh, do like a a spell? To do a spell? Yeah. Oh, what yeah, spell well, do you want to do? I'm gonna look at uh, Herchek's axe and like, is that is that is that an, an enchanted or up- upgraded in any sort of way or shape or form? Uh, no. And I like, a lot reach of in my I bag of holding and then. pull out like two little two sheets of metal that look like they could go on an axe, I guess. And I throw it on his axe and it's like, <laughs> and it gives him a magic weapon, basically. Wow. And it lasts for one hour. And give them the plus one bonus attack to rolls on dam- and damage rolls to attack rolls and damage rolls. Plus what? Plus one bonus to attack rolls and damage rolls. It's a lower level spell. It's all I can do for right now. So. And can I? Uh, I would like to prepare and tangle. There you go. Slowly walk. You. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, um. Yeah. The, the the closer you get, the the voices start to become more. Uh, pronounced and defined and uh, one you you start to see you you open up into this uh, larger chamber where the stream or the river is rushing forward under you and you can barely make out who has night uh, vision here everybody no I'm not sure you don't no. so then it's pitch black for you oh, I have dark vision They're, they don't have a fire Dark vision up to 60 feet, actually. Can't they hear us? I mean, that's... We'll find out. As you guys are coming through this chamber, um, you, you hear... Why do I always get the short stick, eh? And it's you can just see this this large form moving. Um, it's almost like a, a silhouette behind a small speck of light at the opposite end of the, the chamber. You can just see it like shifting back and forth. Um, and yeah, it goes, uh, he just goes, Why do I always get the short stick, eh? Fog rot. Make a distraction, eh? Uh, fog rot. Clean the poo pits, eh? Fog rot. Stay behind in case they come get us. Well, I think it's all poppycock if you ask me. This the easiest job we ever done. No one was even watching the kids, eh? As soon as I hear kids... I rage, I sprint forward.